So hello everyone and welcome to another redstone tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a redstone rock paper scissors game exactly like this one here. If you haven't seen it, this video of this, there's going to be an annotation this at the top and you can go watch it. So basically to start with you'll need these items down either at the bottom. Well you won't need the dirt, you'll need redstone dust, a redstone repeater, not a many, <laughs> um, redstone torches, any block for this I'm going to be using yellow wool just like this one here signs and the but buttons so to start with you're going to want to make your right. first of all you want like it's the line of yellow wool and I can hear water there well, then, yeah so I'm going to go somewhere else <laughs> so you want a line of yellow wool just like this there you go so here I'm going to have three buttons one for rock, one for paper, one for scissors. And then so here you want a redstone repeater there, redstone repeater there, one there, and then block there, and the redstone dust just like that. And then you want to go three out on each side. One, two, three. And then up. And then you you don't want to put your blocks straight there, you want to move it up twice, and then you can have your blocks. So what you're gonna be building here is an RS no lot latch so that when you press a button it stays on until you press a reset switch so to make the RS no latches you just put the torches on like that and then redstone dust on top and to the side of each one like that so there you go you've got one of them set up already and now I'm going to have my reset here so I'm going to put a button there so one two three leave a gap of three and three more buttons on this side and then the same here same as before, one, two, three, up two, up two, one, two, three, up two, like that. And then you can build the RS null latches again on this side, just like that. Three, and then redstone wire on top again. So there you go, now if I press this well that's a better example because that one's already off as you can see this wire here is already on press that and it'll go off and then it just stays off no matter what I do by the way um, if this is your first tutorial I'd advise watching my other ones my more simpler ones like my basic logic gates tutorial annotation above now <laughs> and then you'll understand what these actually do and how to make them so now I want to make my reset switch so to do that I'm going to have a block there so if I put a torch in here now it should power that up as it does so the line along here all the way to the other side and then you can have torches above each of these blocks not there, there like that, like that and it should power them all on like that and then redstone wire across the top like that now I'm going to bring my reset into the middle probably get in the way and there we go so I'll bring this across like that probably need a repeater because this is too far away let me just test it did all them torches go off? Yeah, as you can see, it doesn't quite reach the last few torches, so I'm going to put a repeater here just to extend it. Now it should. But what you want to do is you want to re invert your reset button. So now we go like that. As you can see, these all these outputs are on. So now if I press that, it should go off. It stays off. Yep. And now I can reset it, and it will go back on. So you want to extend the outputs on all both sides. And then one more here. What you want to do now is you want it so that once you press one, it selects that choice and it's stuck in and you can't press any other buttons. Because at the moment I could press rock and then I could press paper and then I selected both. So <laughs> my chances of winning doubled, probably more than doubled. So to do that you want to follow what I do here. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to have it so that when this one is switched off these torches will come on and activate both of these two wires 
So like if I switch this one on now, the middle one, as you can see it activates them two torches and these two continuously on whatever happens. So you press this, that would turn off normally but because it's still being powered by that, it stays on. So let's reset that. And then you want to leave a gap and then you want to do this. And then extend this wire along here and over the top. And now you put a torch on here, so when that one switches off, that torch will be activated and this one will always be on. And then another one in the middle, so that when that's activated, that's always on. So, extend this up again. And then you want to build another one of these, but on this side. Just like this. Torch there. Torch there. And then wire across the top again. So, as you can see, all three of these are off at the moment. And I press this one, the middle one, the middle one goes off, and the other two stay on. And if I try and press the outside one, it doesn't affect anything, the middle one's still being selected. So I'll just reset that. And then you want to do the same on the other side. So just copy exactly as I've done there. Just like this. And then here. One, two, one, two, one, two. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there you go. Like that, and then place the torches on the each side and in the middle. And then we'll test it on this side. So let's press the right hand side one this time. As you can see, there it's switched off. Press the left hand side one and nothing happens. So reset that. Now what I do here is I'm going to change this last one to a repeater actually. I'll show you why in a second. And then a block. The point of the repeater is so that it activates the torch on this block so when it's on that's off and it can still send the wire through whereas if I just had wire there it doesn't go through. So just put a repeater there. Block, 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 torch, torch, torch. What I'm building here is um, so when when one of them selected, it goes back and it signals a torch showing which one you've selected. So little platform here. You're gonna have signs here, so so let's quickly put these in. Block, paper, and scissors, and then a torch on the top. One, two, three. So I'll extend these up. Torch on top again. Torch on top again. Torch on top again. Now I don't want it to interfere with that, so I'm gonna have it going along and up like that. Like that. Like that. And then these are going to eventually come into here. So, if we bring them down, bring this side down, bring this side down. I think I'll probably have to extend these two sides out and bring these wires in. So, repeat it there, repeat it there, going in, and then these two wires can come out, these two wires can come out. Yeah, I'll have it like that. And I'll do the same on this side. No, no, or not. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ooh, that's just too long, it won't reach. So, I'm going to have to put a repeater somewhere. Which is kind of annoying. Because I like to use as little repeaters as possible so that the wire is as quick as possible. So I'll put repeater there and then that side. Now this middle one, let's put repeater there, let's do wire there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, there we go. So at the moment they're all off. If I press paper, paper comes on, reset it. 
first rock. We'll try the uh, only one working system. So if I press scissors, as you can see, nothing happens. Press paper, nothing happens until it's reset. So let's give you a little overview of that. And we're going to be doing exactly the same on the opposite side. So block on top of each torch again. Redstone, redstone. And then same as before. Long and up. Long and up. And then extend these down to the bottom. And I want to build that little platform again. And I'll quickly make it day. There we go. Exactly the same as, as the other side. Oh. Extend these out one. Like that. Extend that out again. Go up. Go up again. Like that. Land up. <laughs> up again. And then extend this one. I like to keep things symmetrical, so I'm going to put repeaters in exactly the same place. Like that. And fill in the redstone. And then finally, this middle one. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Ooh, never think about that. <laughs> I didn't. Does that power it? Did I press the middle one to try last time? I can't remember. Yeah, it powers it. So there we go. So, just give you a quick look at it at the moment. And then I'm probably going to end this as part one because I don't want this tutorial to be too long. And then I'm going to make part two after this where I'm going to be building the AND gates at the back, so which decides the winner. So there we go, this at the moment, this uh, you can select which one you want, it shows you what you've picked, and it allows you to only select one at a time. So there you go guys, end of part one of my rock paper scissors tutorial.